Hey y'all, this is Nina Stevens, and I'm in the South where sushi is still called bait. So, what am I doing today? I'm doing a VR to my old boy, Spicy. He wants to know five things that you carry in your bag. So, um, I've got a few things here that I have in my bug out bag, which is not really a bug out bag, it's really a duffel bag, but you know. So... <laughs> All you high-tech people out there and, and, and you big fellas that have these big old huge bug-out bags. Yeah, I'm new to this whole idea of the bug-out bags. So, it's a learning thing for me. So, it's kind of um, evolving as I go. You know, I learn something new. I put something in. I take something out. Anyway, this is what I got in my, some of the stuff anyway. And then I got my bag. So, <clears throat> the first thing that I'm going to say is very important in the south is off. The mosquitoes will eat you alive in the south. So, um, I think having a mosquito repellent is very important. Very important. Another important thing, this is my favorite flashlight. It's my favorite. I have two of these. Um, I keep one in my bag. And I keep one beside my bed at night with my 38. Now, as you all know, my child, Miss Callie, likes to start raising cane at 2 o'clock in the morning. Mom, there's something out there. We got to go. So I grab my flashlight and my 38, and we go look and see what it is. So um, I keep it by my bed, and then I keep one in my bag. I like these flashlights because they, they, they help me dissipate the darkness to the maximum because yeah I'm just I don't like to dark and critters in the dark are problems for me so um, all right the next thing that I have in my bag is called an outdoor edge knife I like this knife um, you know those of us that clean or have cleaned like when I had rabbits and stuff. Um, this knife helped me with that. So I keep this in my bag and it has a gut hook on it. So I like this knife. Um, I think it's very, very good to have. I like it. It's not, you know, high dollar, but it is. It's just one of my favorites. So, I keep that in my bag. <clears throat> Next thing I have is the brain poncho. Um, I'm not really looking to spend a lot of time out there with my bug out bag. I just want to get from here to there. So, I try to keep the weight down as much as I can. So I can get to where I'm going. So, you know, tent, tarp, all of that. Um, I don't want to spend that much time out there. I want to get on with it getting on. So I do the, the poncho. It'll keep the rain off of me. And, you know, if I have to spend the night, then okay. But I don't plan on spending a lot of time out there. I don't want to anyway. Um, the next thing is, this is my fire kit. You see what's in my fire kit? Oh, big Ola. Yeah. Cotton balls. There's some matches in here. There's a few pieces of fat wood. You know, about three pieces. Um, just to get a fire started. Um, if I have to do a fire. Um, the next thing is... Let me go over this. The Sawyer Mini. Um... I don't I have more to carry around than some folks so water is more important to me than food I'm just saying I just need enough food to sustain me until I get to where I'm going but I got a, a little extra to spare so water is more important so <coughs> I don't go overboard with the with the food items the water on the other hand is is more important so on the food I've got a few of these these are just Mountain House meals. Um, 
I just keep a few of them in my bag. Um, like I said, you know, I'm good on the food. <laughs> I'm good. Um, water. Water is more important. So I've got this little um, thing. This is the last thing I'm going to show you. It's a little camp cook kit thing, whatever. And <clears throat> I know it's not, it's not as high tech as some of the stuff out there I've seen, but I think it'll do me fine just to get to where I'm going. So it's got the, you know, the outside pot. You take the lid off. <clears throat> and it's got the nesting inside pot and then inside that I keep a couple of these um, you know if I have to if I have to heat some water to use with the with a few meals that I keep <coughs> then you know I think that's good um, Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing fancy, just, you know, something to get me by. <clears throat> like I said, I don't want to spend a lot of time living out of this bag, that's for sure. <clears throat> and weight, you know, weight is a concern to me. I mentioned that on Staff Sergeant's um, live stream, that weight is a concern for me. Um... So I try to keep the weight in my bag down. I have other stuff that I have in there. Um, I have the Midland 40 channel handheld CB and I have it in a Tech Protect bag. And then I have the handheld ham radio in a Tech Protect bag. So I keep those in, in my bag as well. Um, but as far as you know, this god awful big old, big old bag, you know, I, I, I can't carry it, you know. Um, I would love to be able to, but I don't have the strength for it. So I keep it, you know, really simple, really minimalistic. Um, so it's, it's a learning thing. I may take some things out, put some different things in um, as I learn, um, you know, FLP and Staff Sergeant and all these guys that I watch and listen to and learn from um you know i learn from them so i may change up things and and change out some stuff um it's a learning process so nothing set in stone and um you know i got a long ways to go on my learning curve part but i'm working at it so that's things that i carry in my bag i know it's more than five items spicy but you get you know it's all right it'll be all right <laughs> Anyway, so I need to tag five people to do a VR. Um, so I'm going to tag, let's see, I'm going to tag Sergeant Smith. You are first up on my list. I know you got this huge bag, oh my God, with so much stuff in it. Yeah, pare it down to just five things that you think are important. Um, I would like to see what you choose out of all that stuff you have in that bag. It'd be interesting. So, Sergeant Smith, you're up. <clears throat> um, let's see. What about try and survive? You're up. Let's see what you what you um, pull five things out of your out of your bag and and <clears throat> let us know what they are. Um, World without rule of law. You're up, sir. Let's see five things that you think are important. Um, what about Thomas Whitten? You're up. Show us five things that you think are important. And what about Miss L. Stewart? You are up, ma'am. Show us five things that you would put, pull out of your bag that you think is important. So that's it for me. Um, I'm sure I have a lot more that I could put in my bag. Um, I have a lot more that I would like to put in my bag. Question is, can I carry it when I get it in there? That's going to be the, the issue. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this little insight into my bag. Um, that's it for me. So until next time, I'll see you later. Hey y'all. Callie and I appreciate you watching our video. <laughs> yes, yes we do. We've got some more you may want to see. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks, and until next time, we'll see you later.